protests again threatening to break out around the country this day, Cinco de Mayo, including at least two focused on Trump Tower in New York City. Protesters nicknamed these the anti-Trump fiesta and La Marcha de Mayo. They're protesting for things like better protection for illegal immigrants. This says three members of the violent MS-13 gang, many of its members are here illegally from Central America, places like El Salvador. They have been charged in a machete attack in New York City, in New York, on Long Island. The three illegal immigrants attacked a 19-year-old because they, quote, did not like the way he laughed. This after attacking another 19-year-old back in January. Joining me now is one of the builders bidding on Trump's border wall. He says he has received death threats. The Hispanic CEO of the Pena Group, he's Michael Evangelista Isasaga. Isa Saga. Michael, good to have you back on the show. What do you think about these uh, protests today, yeah. Cinco de Mayo? Well, I think people are conflating border security with some sort of racist uh, views. The fact is, every sovereign nation on earth has a right, in fact, I would argue a duty to secure its own borders. Every sovereign nation throughout history that has refused to do that has eroded its own sovereignty and it's become a problem. That nation will go away. You know, the last time you were on the show, you said you were receiving regular <laughs> death threats. We're worried about you. Are you still getting them? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I am. In fact, somebody uh, broke the, w so they found my home address, broke the windows on my front door. Uh, we had a guy that we had to have the police haul off who was hanging around the office. My staff, they really, uh, they're very concerned about things, but uh, the police have been very responsive. So hats off to the Fort Worth Police Department. They've been what, fantastic. All right. What about your family? Well, I mean, you know, we're, we're a little bit freaked out, um, but we think we've got everything under control. We've had to uh, beef up some of the surveillance. You know, we've installed some cameras and things like that. And, it, you know, it's really disturbing. And I think, you know, all we're trying to do is, is um, secure our borders, which, again, every, the, every sovereign nation on earth has a duty to do that. But instead, some people are taking this um, uh, to the extreme. They're being uh, quite uh, violent in their pr uh, protests. So, you not know, a good thing. I hear what you're saying. Let's get to this border wall funding, the new 2017 sure. budget. It only provides <laughs> funds for a certain number of miles of fence, not full funding for an entire border wall. I right. mean, we know you've got a vested stake here. You are bidding on a contract for it. But in your opinion, is that enough sure. for border security? Well, I think what the, the budget is, it just depends on what you mean by enough. I mean, obviously, um, the... They've said that the budget is $21.6 billion. I think that's going to be enough to put in a border wall. Uh, having crunched the numbers, we know exactly what it would cost, and it's about that. Uh, but in terms of uh, the funding right now that we've got today, it's not enough. We definitely need more funding. You know, Michael, no question. The flip side of this debate has been, you know, a, wall, a border wall also keeps people in, like East Berlin. Some people, libertarians, don't like the wall. What do you say to that? <laughs> Well, I, I say what I tell everyone. We have a duty to secure our borders. We've got drugs coming through. We've got a lot of people that, I mean, you know, it's a, it, this is a very different world than it used to be. Uh, you know, people can uh, have dirty bombs come across. There's a lot of things that, that, that are pretty bad that are actually going on right now, especially the drugs. We have a duty to secure our borders. That is not a racist thing by any, by any means. We just know where the effort needs to be expended, and it's down there south.